Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 173. And this is a QSO dated 11-7-2013. I got it right. Oh, I got it right. Um, this is uh, kind of a little mini-series I'm doing on uh, web pages or websites on the Internet that provide useful information to shortwave listeners. And this is one that I mentioned a number of times uh, when I've been doing some testing on radios as far as the reception. And I get a station and I talk about using this website to give me an indication what I'm receiving. And this uh, website is short-wave.info. And so uh, we actually wanted to show it to you today and show you some of the features of it. Um, matter of fact, I haven't even tried all the features myself. Yesterday, I thought, mm, you know, I'll see what uh, what else this uh, website provides besides just a listing of um, broadcasts that are on shortwave right now. So anyway, uh, this is their main page, which gives you a default to the BBC uh, as far as what radio station, and it uh, def defaults to English, and it defaults to uh, the present time. So you can change what broadcast you want to listen to, I want to find out about. Here's a listing of all of them. And what I usually choose is any station. And then you can pick a language. Of course, I pick English, being in the United States. And then I usually pick um, the present time. Now, you can pick a different time by unclicking this button right here, uh, this now button, and then putting in a time. So you have to unclick this first before it'll let you put a time in. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, you can find out what stations are broadcasting on a given frequency. So say you've dialed your radio and you picked up um, some broadcast, you don't know what it is, you want to find out what it is, come here, <clears throat> you put in the frequency, and you can uh, say, uh, give me that frequency plus or minus 10 kilohertz if you want to, and uh, what's on now? So, anyway, let me go, I've changed this to any station, so let me do a go here, let it update. Okay, now it's updated, so you can see right now, <clears throat> Excuse me. There are a whole bunch of stations broadcasting. Now, what I did not realize before is I didn't understand what the ones in red meant. And it's still a little confusing to me. And what it means, I, there's a page that, let me go back up a little bit. There's a page here of instructions, which, of course, I didn't read, but I did read yesterday. And the instructions tells you that the stations in red are actually broadcasting now. Now, I thought they were all broadcasting now, but apparently not. Apparently, some of these other stations, I'm guessing here, is they should be broadcasting, but they're not for some reason. That's the only reason I can think that they're not um, red, ending getting they're broadcasting now. Because, like, you can look down here, and here's a uh, Nashville station, and it's this is the days that it broadcast. It's broadcasting every day. Let me zoom a little bit. There we go. And maybe even a little more. Okay. So we can see, uh, well, I don't know where that one was, but anyway, oh, right here. We can see that it broadcasts every day. But it only broadcasts starting at 1 a.m. Universal Time. So I don't understand why it's on the list. Anyway, so it's still a confusion factor for me. So basically what it's telling me is only worry about those ones in red. Now... The question is, how can I get all those ones in red up at the top so I don't have to go through these ones that apparently are not broadcasting? 
And the way you do that, there's a little star here over by remarks. And it says, click here to sort in signal strength order. Well, if they're not broadcasting, then they won't have any signal strength. So I'm going to click on this. And sure enough, all the red ones come to the top and they're sorted by signal strength. Now, um, what they do is they have this website. What it does is it has an algorithm that looks at where you're located. Here I'm located down here in Florida. And it, try, it does go through some math to try to compute what the expected signal strength is for that location, the time of day, where the other where the station is you're trying to get listed here, and uh, the time of day there and conditions. Anyway, it tries to give you an estimate of how strong these signals are. So uh, the other thing is you can to go back to, if you're interested in having these listed by frequencies, go back to frequency, you click this button over here, and it sorts it back in frequency order. So you're back in the frequency order. Okay, so that's how that works. Now, the other thing is, and I want to sort it back the other way. Okay, the other thing is, if when you log on here for the first time, if, if it can detect where you're at by your IP address, it will put that dot in the appropriate place, which is your location. <clears throat> for some reason, um, mine did not work. So it ended up putting a dot at 0, 0, 0, 0, which is right about here, which is the default. And so the instructions tells you if there is if the dot is down in this area and it's red, then it doesn't know where you're at. So these calculations as far as signal strength and bearing and all that stuff are not accurate. And all you have to do is grab that red dot and drag it over where your location is, wherever it might be. So that's how you do that. So now that I've done that, then it has these calculations should be accurate as much as possible. Plus, if you click on, not click on, but if you hover over one of these stations, it will tell you the bearing to that station and the distance. So like for instance, Nashville, Tennessee is almost directly north of me. And sure enough, it says the bearing is 246 degrees from me and it's 961 kilometers. And that's that sounds very reasonable. So that's another piece of information this website get, gives you that until I read the instructions, I didn't know about it. Uh, the other thing is, and I don't know if I can find one. No, I don't see one here right now. But every once in a while, you'll see after the station name, you'll see kind of a, a zigzaggedy line. It'll be right in here, of course. And that indicates that that station is being jammed so that you might not be able to receive it, plus you might be receiving some kind of jamming signal. So that's what that means. I didn't realize that. I saw that little dash thing, and I, I, I didn't know what it meant. Again, read the instructions. Okay, what else did I learn? Okay, I talked about changing the order by using this blue button here or this diamond here. So that takes care of that. And I talked about getting the uh, bearing and range uh, by putting the, moving the red dot, if it's red, to your location. If it's green, that means it knows where you're at, or at least thinks it knows where you're at. If it's incorrect, you can still move it. And then, that, like I say, then you hover over these stations and it tells you you know what direction they are and how far away so you can get an indication hey i received uh all india radio and it was fifteen thousand kilometers from me quite cool so anyway that's kind of the uh 
the, I'll go back and I'll show you the other pages. Here's the instruction page, which is basically how I learned how to use this correctly. Let me go back. And this is, it also has a short listing of the uh, frequency bands. Remember I have talked about uh, the bands being in meters and what range each meter band is. That gives you that right there. And it uh, gives you a listing of the time, the time stations that provide time, WWV, throughout uh, the world, not just in the United States, and their frequency. Okay, and then uh, has some short reviews on radios. Not a whole lot there. And then some information about propagation, how to read propagation, what it means. And then we go back to the home page. So here's the home page. So like I said, you can check and uh, uh, change this to any station or pick a station that you want it to tell you the information about and what language you're interested in. You know, some of the people I watch on YouTube are interested, they're in Canada, so they're inter interested in French broadcast and in time. And you want, and what you could do here, you could turn this off and you could say, okay, I want to, uh, I'll be home tonight. And so I want to listen to uh, whatever's on at midnight, GTM, Greenwich Mean Time. And you select go. And it will show you what's going to be on at midnight UTM, or I call it UTC. So if you have any questions, uh, please leave me a comment. If this uh, show was of any value, please give me a thumbs up. And I thank you for watching. Bye-bye.